amazing artist. I'm so glad that you're here today. I had so much fun drawing Fall Guys the other day that we're going to come back and do a different one today. Now, people have asked about the hot dog because it's so cute. So I'm gonna do the hot dog today. Maybe if you guys ask, we'll do the french fry one day soon. All right, so if you missed the regular Fall Guy video, this is what we did. We drew the basic Fall Guy, and then I showed a different way to do hats or a unicorn horn or, you know, the Viking hat or a crown to show the different kinds of things that you can add on as you earn and level up to get those things. So today there's a different thing that you can get and it is a hot dog suit or a hot dog outfit. So that's what we're going to do. So the basic shape of the fall guy is the same, but we're going to put the hot dog on him. Okay. So today we're going to need a pencil. We're going to need an eraser, you guessed it, and we're going to draw lightly, remember. Also, if you haven't done videos with me before, a dull pencil is great because it's much easier to erase. Now, if you've been around me a lot, you know this, so I'm sorry if I repeated it. But get yourself just a plain old ordinary. I use the erasers up so fast on my pencils that I always keep a little block eraser because erasers for me last about a week, and that's it, if even, sometimes a day. Now, the other thing you're going to need is a Sharpie if you have one. If you don't have one, it's not a big deal because then once you draw lightly and you get your lines where you want them, then you can simply go back and press down harder and get your lines where you want them that way. Okay, so you can press down and it will show up enough. If you do have a Sharpie, it makes a nice, crisp, dark, defined outline. Now. If you don't have a Sharpie, but you've got a Crayola marker or a regular marker, that's fine too. I just always tend to use these because I love them because if you choose to paint with watercolor when it comes to the color part, I'm going to use crayons today. But if I wanted to paint, Sharpie is not made with water. It's made with alcohol. So it is not, the art word is water soluble it will stay firm and it won't bleed or um, lose its line or its defined quality if you put watercolor with it. That's why I tend to just always grab a Sharpie. But if you're going to use crayons like me or other magic markers or colored pencils or oil pastels or anything, any marker will do. It won't matter at all. You can use any um, Crayola, Rose Art, whatever kind of um, magic marker you might happen to have, okay? So that's just a tip. So get your stuff and let's get started on our hot dog fall guy. I'm excited. All right, we're gonna start with the left side of the bun. So I'm gonna do it right in the middle of my paper and I want you to make a tall oval and a real narrow oval, okay? Because this is one side of the hot dog bun. So let's start here and let's make a very long oval. Can you see that? It's just, and it, it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Look how I bumped out a little bit there. It's a piece of bread, folks, so it doesn't matter. Bread sometimes puffs out and rises more in one spot and maybe it doesn't rise as much over here. So don't stress out and try to get a perfect oval. It'll actually look better if it's a little bit wonky. All right, now that hot dog bun has a few little seeds on it. So let's just put a few little seeds. Well, let's stop, let's do two there, but let's get a hand on there first, okay? So I'm gonna start right here, I'm gonna get my hand make a little backwards C. Or if you have already done parentheses in school, it's a closed parenthesis right there, okay? Now, remember I'm pressing down really hard, so it'll be more difficult for me to erase, but because you're drawing with whisper lines, you're drawing lightly, it's gonna be much easier for you to erase. So remember, don't press down hard until we get everything where we want it. Then we'll come in and press down hard. 
I'm going hard so you can see better in the demonstration version of the video because I'm going to cross this line now and make a hand and so I'm going to have to erase some in a minute. So start at the top of that parentheses or backwards letter C and come out and down like that to about the bottom of the bun. Now I want you to come out to here and then we're going to come down like that. Okay, that was a lot of lines, but do you see how it's kind of coming out? Looks a little bit like a broom, but this is gonna turn into our thumb, so we're gonna bring it up like that, okay? And then I'm gonna curve that like so, all right? Now, if yours is too wide or it's wider than mine, don't worry about it. You can add an extra finger or you can make your fingers wider, but here comes another little finger. I'm gonna start right here, come up a little, and I'm gonna come down like that. You see how that kind of made like the shape of a little finger starting? And then the next one is going to be right here. I'm gonna start right here and go just like this, and then I'm gonna connect it to that, okay? So I just connected it right in there. This is like my little thumb shape and the rest are like that. Now, if yours doesn't look exactly like that, it does not matter. Just some kind of overlapping shapes that turns into our fingers is all we're looking for there. And then, of course, our hand is in front of our bun, so come back in with your eraser and erase out where that hand is in front. And if you drew lightly, you will have a much easier time erasing than I did. All right. That was probably the hardest part of the whole thing is that one hand. So if you've made it this far, whoop, whoop, it's all downward sliding, whatever, easy peasy land now, okay? All right, now the other side of this bun is in shadow a little bit because a hot dog bun curves in and the hot dog's in the middle. So the inside of the bun is gonna be a little darker you know, where you put the mustard or the ketchup, whatever. So we're going to come down a little bit here and then we're just gonna follow it back down all the way, all the way, and then around there at the bottom. And that we're gonna color a little darker later because that's where our shadow is gonna be, okay? Oh, we can put more seeds on our bun. I wanted our arm on first in case we, in case we put a seed right there and then we wouldn't have to erase it. So let's just get a few little seeds. I like odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna stick with five. You can put 105 on there if you want, if you like a lot of seeds on your buns. But um, I think five or seven is probably a really good number. I'm gonna go with five. All right, it's hot dog time. Here we go. Now the hot dog on this fall guy is wider than the bun side. So we're gonna come up to the top here, come down just a little and we're going to curve up and then come down and then around like that. Ha, that's our hot dog. Now mine's a little bumpy there. I would probably, since it's a hot dog, I'm not gonna care too much, but I am gonna smooth it just a bit because hot dogs are usually kind of smooth, you know? But I'm a little bumpy here, but I'm not gonna worry about that. The next step is his cute face. And it goes about halfway down right in the middle and it's a round circle. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's just a round circle right there. And I'm gonna put mine, if my middle is here, I'm gonna come up just a little bit above exact center. And I'm gonna put my little round face right there. I like it right there. Now, the only facial feature that shows on a fall guy is his eyes. And they're about, so if you find the halfway point, they're going to be right below that. There they are. Okay, and we're gonna black those in with Sharpie later or your magic marker, so if you got a little double line. I'm gonna erase out my little guideline that I made because I'm gonna leave my little hot dog face white later, so I wanna get my little pencil line out. And there we go. Now, the Fall Guy hot dog, they made little slices in it before they cooked it, or that's how it looks. So we're gonna go in with some diagonal slices, like they, um, and they're just ovals. But the only tricky part is, is the face goes right in between some. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna start with one here. Doot, 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 real skinny, boop, boop, boop. Here comes another, boop, boop, boop. Now, 
what you want is all of them to be lined up if you can, parallel. If you've learned the word parallels before, it means this one and this one. See how they travel in the same direction and they, their paths would never cross. They just go forever. That's parallel. If they're like this, they'll cross. That's not parallel, right? So if you can, all these little hot dog slit lines are going to be parallel. Now our next one is probably going to bump into this face. So I'm just going to start right there on the face and it's going to come out and end right there. I don't even think I'm going to see it on this side. Maybe a little it would come out and show like that. The next one is going right through it though. So I'm going to have one right there. And then I'm just going to skip where the face is. Do, 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 and I'll see the other side. Do you see that, how we did it? And that way the slice goes right through, but the face, we don't draw over it. Then we're going to do another. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to put two more, I think. I'm going to fit two more. And then the last one, I'm going to make a little smaller. Just like I made that top one a little smaller. So you see all of our little hot dog slits? Easy peasy. They're like little skinny ovals and they just kind of go right around that little face hole. Okay? Ah, I'm loving it. We're almost done. Can you believe it? Now, we've got to put the bun on the other side. So we're going to come out about as far as we were here, but it's kind of going away from us. So this side of the bun is going to be a little bit smaller because it's a little bit further away. So I'm going to come down a little. I'm going to come out and I'm going to draw the whole thing like that, okay? Now, before you go too far, this is the inside of the bun. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that little part that's gonna turn into a shadow in a minute down right there. Now, I like that except I wanted this side to bump up a little more. So I'm gonna change my line and have it bump up a little bit more. I think that's gonna look better. So I apologize if you need to erase, you can. I should have bumped it up a little more. But that looks better to me. So cute, our hot dog is coming along so cute. Now we need the other arm on the other side. Now, on this side it's a little further away so we don't see as much of the arm. So we're just gonna see the top of the hand. So we're gonna come across, choo -choo -choo, and then come down and draw a line like that. We're just gonna see about that much. And it's gonna come up like that. And then the next line is just going to come up like that into the hot dog bun, and that's really all you'll see on that side, okay? Gets a little easier. I told you that was the trickiest. Okay, my hot dog can't walk. It needs some legs. And again, this side is closer, so this one's going to be a little bit bigger. Now, like I showed you on the basic fall guy, if you watched that video, we're going to start with just two little leg spots, right? because they turn into a little bit of a triangle base and they get a little wider. Now remember, this one's closer, so it's gonna be a little bigger and it's also gonna come down a little further on the page. So I'm gonna come down with this guy and he's gonna be like that. And then his friend is gonna be a little bit higher and a little, see how he's smaller? It means he's kind of turning and he's that way, okay? So there's our little neighbor foot and here's this one. And ta-da, we have a hot dog fall guy. I love it, how's yours? I can't wait to see. Oh, okay, the next step is either, now you get them all put where you want them, go back and press down hard and outline with your pencil if you don't have a Sharpie or a marker or a pen or whatever it is you're gonna use. But I'm gonna use my Sharpie and I'm gonna outline my lines. Now I'm gonna speed this part of the video up so you don't get bored with me. And if you need to go back over any of these steps, if you're a little behind, just hit rewind and go back and check that out. Um, or speed me up if you want, okay? But I'm gonna real quickly doo -doo -doo -doo, outline mine. All right, how'd yours turn out? If you got your Sharpie on yet? If you don't, don't worry, you can hit pause and catch up. I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring my fall guy, except first thing, I noticed that this eye is way longer than that one, so I'm gonna go back in with my Sharpie and just make this eye a little bit longer. I think that matches a little better. Now I'm ready. Now I picked out, um, 
in the game, the hot dog part is a darker brown and the bun is more of a beige kind of orange color. So I picked out this one. It's called apricot and some red orange. I'm gonna try that for my bun. We'll see how this turns out for the hot dog. Who knows? I love to layer my colors. So if my color is not just what I want, I'll layer another one on top. You can do that with colored pencils really well too. So crayons layer great, oil pastels layer great, crayons do. Markers not so much, but you can layer with markers some. A million times a marker, I'll look at the cap and I'll be like, oh, that's gonna be this color and I color with it. It doesn't look anything like the cap. But then just let it dry really nicely, go over it all evenly, pick another one and go over it. And you can do that with markers too. Here's a tip though. Always keep a little scrap paper or something off to the side to test your marker colors. Or if you're gonna layer your colors, do a little test and see how they turn out before you draw it on your actual drawing, you know. Then if you've made a little um, funny color choice, you figure it out first. But if you don't, don't worry about it because these things are just bright colors, beautiful colors. It really doesn't matter, anything goes. And I think the brighter and the happier, the more fun. And oftentimes, I don't draw my things and color them exactly like they look. I like to take my artistic license and make them a little um, more fun, a little brighter, a little sillier, because that's just, that's how I like to do things. So let's see how you do yours. All right, you, I'm gonna go fast on my coloring, you know, do that little video speed up so it's a little more fun to watch. And you take your time and do what you need to do and I'll see you in a minute. All right. Hey, hey, how did your hot dog fall guy turn out? I am liking mine, he's fun. He looks pretty tasty because it's dinner time and I'm hungry. <laughs> Maybe I'll have hot dogs for dinner tonight. I bet my family would like that, that's a good idea. <laughs> so, did drawing the hot dog fall guy make you hungry too? <laughs> How'd yours turn out? Oh, please get your parent or your guardian to post it if you can, if you'd like it. Use hashtag AFLB or hashtag Art for Life Blueprint. And, um, or just simply post it right into our group, um, Kids Art with Art for Life Blueprint. That's our Facebook group. Join, everybody is welcome and I would love to see your art. Then we can all just ooh and awe over it and I can grab it and put it in the celebration videos too. Um, you can also just tag me on Instagram or on um, Facebook if you just use those hashtags. And you can also just have them email it to me. Um, I would love to see it. I would love to celebrate you and your amazing work. And I hope you've had fun today. Remember to draw something every single day. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just the act of drawing is so good for our brains, so good for our hearts, so good for our whole spirit and everything. It makes you feel good and it also gets you better and better and increases your skills and opens up your creativity. And it's just a wonderful thing to do. You can draw anything. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. And you don't even have to have a fancy sketchbook. You can just have a, a spiral notebook or just any old scrap paper. Do you know, one day I couldn't find any paper in my house. And so we, I went out to the recycle bin and I started drawing on the inside of the cereal boxes because they're smooth. There's no lines and there's no um, artwork on the inside of the box. And I had a good old time drawing on the inside of the cereal boxes. And because it's cardboard, then I could cut them out and I made a whole little village out of them. It was fun. So just your imagination is the, is the tops. You can do anything that you can think of. Um, with your imagination and um, you can find all kinds of things around your house and your um, garage or wherever to recycle into some cool art too. So draw one thing at least, just any old thing every single day. It can be small or some days you start off small. Here's a trick. 
I don't feel like it today, I'm tired. Set a timer and just do it for five minutes. If you start for just five minutes, I can almost bet you that you'll be having such a good time when the timer goes off, you'll be like, oh, I wanna do a little more. And so then you just do a little more. We play a game sometime and just keep resetting the timer. One time my daughter and I reset, we set it for 15 minutes and it went off and we we're like, you wanna go more? Yeah, we set it again, nine times. We reset it nine times. Every time it went off, we were like, you wanna go some more? Yes, of course we did because we got into the groove and we were having fun. So I challenge you to set the timer. You can do five. If you feel ambitious, go for 15 and um, try to build up to where you're drawing a little something for 15 or 30 minutes every day. Oh, it'll do wonders for you. It's amazing. And you will just get better and better and more awesome than you already are. I sure am glad you spent some time with me today and I can't wait to see your art. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.